Hi YouTube, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this tutorial, I'm going to be painting my front door for the first time. Now, I've painted one other door in my entire lifetime and it was a solid wooden door. And I, I remember I did like a bright blue color and it turned out pretty nice. This door here is metal door and luckily it's like half a window, half a door, so I don't have too much to paint, but I am going to be using a product I've never used before. Now doing some research on front door paints, I was looking for durability, um, great reviews and it not fading quickly over time. I know you're going to have some fading over time. So I found the best product upon researching was by Modern Masters. They got a good reputation and I'm using their front door paint specifically for front doors. And I went with a color called Elegant. Basically it's just black, pitch black. I know I'm going safe. I know a lot of people like doing funky bright colors and I debated, I'm like, do I do a bright red or a bright yellow? And I just opted to play it safe my first go round and just go with a nice elegant solid black color. So let's get started with this project. I'm excited to do this, so let's do it. Okay, so the first step to painting your front door is prepping your door. So like any project, I normally restore antique furniture on this channel and I am the biggest advocate for prepping. Don't just start painting your front door without prepping it first appropriately. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean my front door and I'm gonna use a product that I clean my furniture with, but it's also a multi-use cleaning product. It's by Crud Cutter. It's a concentrated cleaner degreaser stain remover. It's really great, I love it. So I'm gonna first clean my front door. You're gonna see me do that in a time-lapse video and get all the gunga and nastiness off, okay? So let's get started with that. And this is what my door looks like now. Very boring. Snooze fest. So I'm hoping with the black color it'll tie in with my black shutters and then we'll do my foundation next. Paint that black and then I'm gonna redo these front stairs. It's gonna all come together. Okay everyone everything is clean on the door. There was some nasty stink bug guts on the top of my door. So disgusting. Do you guys have stink bugs where you live? Oh my gosh, we get them so bad here in New Hampshire around fall time. It's ugh, just makes me do this just thinking about it. Okay, so the next stage is we got to tape. Okay, so I'm going to tape around my window. I'm going to tape around my doorknob and my keyless entry. It was such a pain in the butt to um, get my keyless entry on my door. So I don't want to take it off and risk it not working. So I'm going to tape it up. Some people um, opt to remove their doorknobs and their locks. That's totally up to you and your comfort level. Me, I'm going to tape. I really like frog tape. So that's what you're going to see me do next on my time lapse video. Okay guys, it's go time. <laughs> it's cleaned, it's taped off, and we're ready to paint. So I just wanted to show you the supplies that I have ready to go in order to paint this front door. So I am using a quarter inch nap foam roller. And I also, this is like my little trick that I do even when I paint furniture, if I'm gonna roll paint, um, in order to reuse um, my little 
paint rolling containers. Um, I put tin foil in them so I can keep reusing. And then when I'm done with it, I just throw away the tin foil and I don't ruin the tray. So um, that's what I do. And you can see I have my roller ready to go. I also have um, a Klingon brush. If you don't know what a Klingon brush, they're fantastic. I did a review on them a couple years ago and I absolutely love them. I probably have about eight of these. And this is what's called their S30. It's their short handled brush. I'm finding as I age and get older. Yeah, um, as I get older, <laughs> my wrists start to really hurt when I paint for an extended period of time. And I find the shorter the handle, the less the pain is. So I like their short handled brush. I'll put a link below here on this video and give you a direct link if you want to order some Klingon brushes. They're fantastic. So I'm going to use that for the edging around the window and then I got some really small detailed brushes just in case I need to get into a little crevice or area. I don't know if I'm going to use these but it's better to be prepared than not. And so from what I've researched online when painting a front door, you first need to paint around the edges, paint around the door lock, the door handle, and do the inside of those areas here, the panels first. And then you go and you roll the paint on the flat surfaces. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I've learned by researching online. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's my game plan. And we're gonna see how this works. So I'm gonna do it on a time-lapse video and you guys can watch me. Now, either this is gonna be a big success or it's gonna be a fail. So this is how we learn. So let's do it. thoughts after I first edged. The paint seems really thin and I'm going to be very surprised if this turns out good. So this is my initial thoughts. Just being honest with you. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm now going to roll the paint. This was a confessional right now. Um, I think I'm not doing too well with this project. <laughs> the first coat is on. It looks bad, folks. It looks so bad. Oh. Okay. I am going to be stunned if the second coat makes this door look really good because I'm not holding out much hope for how this is turning out. So you live and learn, but again, I'm giving you my honest thoughts here and I'm sure people are going to roast me in the comment section on how I'm doing this. So again, usually I restore furniture, front doors are not my expertise. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry a little more um, because I'm afraid if I start putting on the second coat while it's wet, it's gonna lift that first layer. So we need to let it dry completely. So um, cross our fingers, but we need a miracle, people. We need a miracle here.
you guys. I don't, I'm, I'm learning as I go. Should I have primed this beforehand with like a gray primer? Maybe. Maybe that would have made some difference here. Um, but I didn't. So it's too late now. Um, I don't know. I mean, jeez, I'm at three coats. This may take like five or six coats to get it to be a really solid black. I don't know. I'm just going to keep chipping away at it. Keep applying coats. The one thing I noticed about this paint, um, it smells like a, um, like a cheap craft print paint. There's, how can I describe that? If you've ever worked with like cheap, um, acrylic paint, like from the dollar store, it has this, I mean, that's what it smells like to me. Um, and it's just, I don't know. It's not thick. It's very watery to me. And I do keep mixing it. I don't know. Everybody said like most of this, this should work in two coats. This is obviously definitely not working in two coats or three for that matter. Bacon, bacon, come here bacon. Bacon boo boo, come here. Um, I was hoping to have this done by the time Bacon was done with his nap. Come here boo boo, but he's up and raring. Let's interrupt this do-it-yourself video with a cute Bacon break. Bacon, say hi. Say I'm so cute. I'm only 1.7 pounds and I'm nine weeks old and this is supposed to be a basket for my toys but as you can see it tastes pretty good yeah and he's teething biscuit get away from there all right I'm waiting for the door to dry after my third coat but I thought it would be cute to show a little bit of bacon here Okay guys, I am finally done painting this front door. Want to take any guess how many coats this took? It took five. It took five total coats, but you know what? That's okay. Um, the color looks fantastic. It has a very nice, I would say a satin sheen to it. Um, I wasn't anticipating it taking five coats um, from the beginning when I purchased this paint. When I looked at the reviews on Amazon, any color, there's, they have like a great selection of front door paint colors from bright yellow, bright, bright green, red, some really pretty like aqua marine colors. And most people said it was two coats. So I thought, oh, okay, black, two coats. No, it, it took five. So that's the one con that I found with this paint. Um, the one pro thing to this paint, it dries super fast. So I was able to apply five coats all within, I'm going to say probably a five hour time period. I was letting them completely dry in between coats. And then it was completely dry by the evening time where I could shut my door and I felt it was okay. It didn't stick the next morning or anything like that. So to give you an idea of how much paint I did use with five coats, now look at the size of my door. Most of my door, half of it is a window. So if you're looking to get this paint, um, keep that in mind. I also did the um, side piece right here of my door. And then I also, the back side of my door in my skylight area was already painted black, but it was kind of chippy. So I did one coat there and that turned out really nice and it blended in nicely. So all in all, I used half a quart of paint to do all of that. So if you order through Amazon, Amazon um, mine came in two 16 full ounces, two of these, okay? That's a quart. Um, I saw other people, they get just one canister quart. Um, I don't know why they split it up, but that's how they did it. And this was around, I wanna say $33, $35, which isn't too bad. The big, I guess, component of how I'll like this paint is how much this will hold up over time. 
Um, my son comes blazing in on this side of my house. So luckily my front door doesn't get a lot of like um, direct sun, but I'm still curious to see over time and you know, kids kicking the door in and just over time how this will hold up. But I'm gonna give this probably a 3.5 stars out of five stars if I had to give it a rating. And the only reason I'm, I'm, I'm docking it a star and a half is just because I wasn't anticipating to be applying this many coats of paint. And maybe that's a fault of my own. So again, you guys, I didn't prime the door. Maybe I should have primed it with like a gray primer first that would have given it some darkness. I, I don't know. But for my first time with this paint and then painting a metal door, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with the results. So I'm gonna show you guys a video after I'm done um, yakking my jaw off here. Oh, I'm looking at the neighbor's cat through the window. It's a very cute cat. <laughs> um, I get distracted easily, you guys. It's like squirrel. Ooh. Um, so anyways, I'm very happy with it, um, with the results. And if you guys have any questions regarding this paint or if you wanna just hose me in the comment section of everything that I did wrong, go for it. Um, I enjoyed this project, I learned a lot. And then I have another door on the other side that goes out to my patio, my deck area, then I'm gonna have to paint and yeah, so I'm glad I have another half a quart because it'll cover that area. And then I have a little side piece out front, the little skylight that faces the other way that I have to paint as well. So I think I'll have enough paint for that. So all in all, I like this paint. If you guys want to order some, I'm going to put a link below this video where you can order it through Amazon. Like I said, they have such a fun selection. I'm going to say a fun selection of front door paint colors. So if you're looking to jazz up your front door, something funky, something fun, eye popping, add some curb appeal, try this paint out. Okay. So you guys, until next time, I will see you. Ooh, 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 I'm forgetting. Um, like subscribe, share, click that bell. So then you guys are notified every time I upload a new video and you guys remember, you can find me all over social media. You can find me on Facebook right here. That's at Madeline Jean antiques and restoration. You can also find me on Instagram and that's over here at Bethany So until I see you guys soon to live by, Oh, biscuit didn't come in. Biscuit's right here. Hold on, hold on. Biscuit. Biscuit's right here. Oh my gosh, he feels so heavy now compared to our puppy chihuahua, Bacon. I'm not going to pull Bacon in. He's sleeping right now in his crate. But this is Biscuit. Mm -hmm. Love you, love you, buddy. Okay, say goodbye. Bye, guys.